Hi, I'm Megan Powell from the Essex Bridge Center, and today's lesson is part of our boot camp series to help players who are above absolute beginner and moving into their usually their second year of bridge, um, learning how to deepen and add nuance to all of standard bidding. This boot camp series helps those players reinforce the most fundamental pieces that they learned in their first year of bridge. So today's topic builds on our previous topic. Our last topic was, was major suit fits. And today's topic is simple overcall basics, how the opponent gets into the auction. Let's get started. So before we get into today's overcall topic, Let's just step back and take a look at where we started this boot camp series with our last lesson. Let's look at the highlights of where we started boot camp. We started with the idea that everybody gets to count their high card points when they see their hand. Aces are worth four points, kings are worth three points, queens are two points, and jacks are one point. Now, when the auction begins, it is the dealer who gets to speak first. Last week's boot camp lesson reinforced the concept of an opener's priority list. So let's say that you are the dealer in the auction. The first thing that happens is you look for standard one level opening bids. These are the most common ways that we open auctions. So the very first thing you look for is a major suit opening bid, standard 12 to 20 high card points. You would need a five card or longer major, any five cards, and you would open one heart or one spade. If you had five hearts and five spades, you would always open the spades first, the higher ranking major suit. <clears throat> now, what if you had the standard 12 to 20 high card points and did not have a five card major. The next thing you look for on the priority list is to open one no trump, but it is very specific. It is specifically 15, 16, or 17 high card points. You need a balanced hand, and that means no five card major. You do not have any voids, you do not have any singletons, and you don't have more than one suit that is holding only a doubleton. That would be your second choice on the standard priority list. Now, if you're still holding 12 to 20 standard high card points, but you don't have a five card major and you don't meet the requirements to open one no trump, you would still make an opening bid, but this time it would be in a minor suit, one club or one diamond. That's 12 to 20 high card points. And when you open a minor suit, it could be any three card or longer minor suit, you're looking actually for the longest of your minor suits, but it could be any three cards and it's the minimum three cards. If you're opening a minor suit and your minor suits are equal in length, then you should open diamonds if your minor suits are holding four cards and four cards and you should open clubs if your minor suits have three cards and three cards. So this is the standard 12 to 20 high card point, one level set of openings. This is your priority list. We also discussed, what if you did not have those 12 to 20 high card points? Could you ever open as the dealer um, with any other whole kind of holding and still open a one level suit bid? Well, you can still open one club, one diamond, one heart, or one spade in alternate ways. Now, if you're the dealer and you have an 11 high card point hand, that's not the standard 12 to 20. If you're holding a six card or longer suit, and that would be major or minor, you would go ahead and open the hand because 11 high card points and six or more cards in any suit is the equivalent to 12 to 20 high card point. Your six card suit is the suit you're opening with your 12, 11 high card points. So that's one alternate opening 
for a one level bid. Here's another one. It's called the rule of 20. And this opening rule belongs to a dealer or if a dealer passes and the auction moves to the second bidding seat, that second bidding seat may also use this rule of 20. And here's how it works. You would take the length in your two longest suits and add that together. And then you take that number and you add it to your high card point count. If that sum equals 20 or more, open the bidding and you would open a five card major, or if you don't have that, a three card or longer minor. So the idea here is, is that your unbalanced lopsided hand has extra value, not only because it has two longish suits, but to some extent, more importantly, it has two short-ish suits. And those short suits are gonna be able to be trumped early, surprising the opponents, and therefore, your hand has extra value when it is unbalanced in this way. You add the number of cards in your two longest suits, add that to your high card points with the number 20 as a sum or greater, open your bidding. The third alternate opening rule that we learned happens in the third bidding seat. And so it happens this way. Your partner is the dealer and passes. The player to your right was in the second bidding seat, had the opportunity to look and try and open, but passed. So now there are two passes and you are in the third bidding seat. In third bidding seat, you should open with 10 or more high card points. And the reason is this, either everybody at the table is sitting with about 10 high card points. So why not have you and your partner try and make something happen in the auction for you, or the fourth person to your left who has not yet bid is probably sitting on a huge point count and you're interfering opening bid with just 10 points is going to make it a little more difficult for that fourth seat to try and make the best bid for that partnership. Okay, so those are your alternate opening one level suit bids. Now, all of this comes down to understanding something about how scoring works in duplicate bridge. The more you understand about how scoring works, the easier it will become to see why we use even these alternate opening bids. What's the value in opening something that isn't 12 to 20? So understanding scoring will help you bid in addition to helping you play in uh, knowing what to play and when to play. And if you go to our website at sexpertcenter.com and you look for the, the colorful boxes as you scroll down, find the orange box to the right of the string. It's marked helpful videos and downloads. When you click on that, you will find a series of scoring videos and handouts. Take the time, understand something about how scoring works. It will help you bid. All right, so last session, we talked about major suit fits and the fundamentals of how we find an eight card or longer heart suit or uh, spade suit contract together. Today, we want to say, all right, we know a little bit about opener and responder bidding, but how do the opponents get into the auction? Well, the opponents need to follow their own set of rules. They are different from opener and responder rules. So the opponents have their own set of rules. And the most common way for opponents to get into the auction is something called a simple overcall. And it's when the opponents want to compete by bidding one of their suits in this auction. Now, there are three main reasons why opponents make simple overcalls. The first reason is probably the most common reason. And that is that an opponent makes a simple overcall suit bid to tell his or her own partner what 
suit to lead once they get to the play of the hand. The reason is that when an opponent makes a simple overcall, they don't often, they don't always take the contract away from opener and responder. It is still very common for opener and responder to keep bidding and earn the contract. But what the opponent is doing with a simple overcall is putting information out there for partner. Your partner across the table and you will likely be on defense on this hand, and it would be a good thing for your partner to know what suit to lead once you get to the play of the hand. So you are telling partner what suit you have potential winners in so that you might be able to win some tricks, maybe even very early in the play of the hand. So the most common reason an opponent makes an overcall is to tell own partner's partner what suit to lead once we get to the play of the hand. Now, another reason why an opponent makes a simple overcall is because by making a suit bid of his or her own, it might be just enough to make the player to your left, responder to the opener, might make that player's situation a little more difficult. Your interfering simple overcall might be just enough to make it much more difficult for responder to find the right way to bid. So you are interfering reasonably in an auction at times. The third reason is that once in a while, it's the opponents who have the majority of the points on this hand. It just so happens they're started with a, an opening bid by the player to your right. But when the auction moves to you, you as the opponent and your own partner have most of the points and you rightfully deserve to play in a contract. So the simple overcall might be a way that you and your partner can find your way to your rightful contract on this hand. All right, so those are the purposes of a simple overcall. What does an overcaller actually need? Well, the overcaller, first of all, needs to have a five card or longer suit. And that can be a major suit or a minor suit. That suit needs to have at least one high honor card, an ace or a king. And the reason is you are telling your partner what suit to lead on defense when we get to the play of the hand. You want to win a trick. Now, you could have a queen, a jack, ten combination as your high honor card sequence, if you will. But that's really only a good idea if you are holding a huge amount of overcall points. All right. The kind of points you have to have as an overcaller is based on a certain range. There is a specific range for the overcall. If you're at the top of the range, then the queen, jack, ten are an okay honor sequence. If you're at the bottom of that specific range, then no, you shouldn't use queen, jack, ten. You need the ace or the king. So you need a five card or longer suit. And then within that, then you need a certain point range. So let's talk about making a simple overcall, specifically on the one level of the auction. So the player to your right, most commonly it's the player to your right, has made an opening suit bid. One club, one diamond, one heart, one spade. You are the next player to bid. You are the opponent. And you would like to compete for your partnership. You look for a simple overcall to see if you can still bid on the one level. And if you can still bid on the one level, you would need... 8 to 16 high card points. And that's in addition to that five card or longer suit that has at least one high honor. You should always make your simple overcall opponents on the one level if your suit can still be bid on the one level. You always bid simple overcalls as cheaply as you can. It is never a jump in the auction. Simple overcalls are always a bid you make at the very next place you can bid your suit. And if that very next place you can bid your overcall suit is still the one level, then you can do it with 8 to 16 high card points. Now, what if you needed to make your simple overcall on the two 
level. Well, you need slightly more in the point count. You need 10 to 16 high card points. And you still need that five card or longer suit with a high honor. Again, you are still making your overcall as cheaply as you can. You are never jumping. However, there may be times when you can no longer make your overcall on the one level. For instance, the player to your right opens one spade. Well, all the suits are gone now on the one level. If you wanted to make a suit overcall, you would have to bid on the two level. But if you bid your simple overcall on the two level, it is because you cannot bid your suit on the one level. And then you must meet these point requirements up here. You must have 10 to 16 high card points. All right. So now we've had an opening bid at the table. An opponent has made an overcall bid and the auction moves clockwise again. And now we've reached the responder to the opener. Now responder, even though there has been a bid to your right by an opponent, they have bid an overcall, you are still trying to support your opening partner. And this is specifically true if your partner has opened a major suit. If your partner has opened a major suit, you try to ignore that overcall and you just focus on your partner's major suit. If you have three card support for your partner's opening major suit, you have found an eight card fit, and then you're going to add distribution and decide how high to bid in that major suit. Now, something that is new. If the responder instead wants to bid a new major suit by her herself, now the rules are a little bit different after a simple overcall. Let me give you some example here. In, in before now, let's say that your partner opened one diamond. Now that's a minor suit opening. Your responding job is always to try and search for a major suit fit. And before now, if your partner opened one diamond and the player to your right, the opponent, passed, this was easy peasy. You had a very clear path ahead of you. You would need, a, you would need six or more high card points and you would need four or more cards in your new major suit and you would change to that new major suit on the one level. So your partner would open one diamond and you would respond one spade to show four or more spade cards and six or more high card points. Fantastic. But now we're adding com competition into auctions. And your partner opens one diamond, but the player to your right makes a simple overcall in one heart. Your, your opponent on the right is interfering, trying to make your life a little more difficult. If your partner opened a minor suit and the player to your right makes an interfering simple overcall and your responder task is really still to search for a major suit fit, now when you bid a new major suit responder, you're going to need more than four cards. You're going to need five or more cards in that new major suit. You can still have your six high card points to change to a new major on the one level, but now you need more length. And when we get to an example in a few minutes, I will explain more about the whys and the wherefores. Why do you need extra value? Why is it necessary once the opponent competes? for your responding hand to have a longer major suit to change even just on the one level if you're still searching for a major suit fit. All right, so we've had an opening bid at the table. We've had an overcall bid by an opponent. Maybe the responder bids, but then the auction moves to the fourth player at the table. This is the overcaller's partner, and that title in the auction is advancer. The advancer is the simple overcaller's partner if the simple overcall was made in second bidding seat. 
So now this is the other opponent. And honestly, much of the time, the advancer acts like a responder. If you have a fit with your partner's overcall five card suit, you add distribution, and then you need enough points to raise your O partner's overcall suit. And today we're only talking about basic rules for the advancer. When we move into our competitive bidding series, we will talk more about whether or not the advancer can do other things. So your partner has made the simple overcall. You look in your hand for a fit for your partner's five card or longer overcall suit. And if you have a fit, an eight card fit, you add distribution with six to nine minimum advancing points, just like a responder, you can raise your partner's overcall suit to the two level. But with only six to nine advancing points, you can only afford to be on the two level, not higher. If you have 10 or more advancing points, that's the information we're going to add when we get to our competitive bidding lessons. We're going to talk about more nuance for advancer. Right now, the advancer will have six to nine advancing points, and that's it. And we can afford to go to the two level to help partners overcall suit. If you do not have a fit with your partner's overcall suit, then honestly, you're going to pass. Because while it happens occasionally, it's not that common, you would you could bid your own suit advancer, but it would have to be at least five cards. And you would have to have like 12-ish opening-like points to even think as advancer about changing to a new suit. And we'll talk more about that piece when we get to our competitive bidding series. So now we have a lot of stuff going on here. Let's see if we can figure out who everybody is, right? In the auction, everybody has a title. So let's take a look at a bidding table and see if we can figure out who's who here. Let's start down here at the bottom. And this person down here, this very good boy, is the dealer. And this very good boy looks at his hand and he has an opening bid he'd like to make. He's the first bidding seat and he does make an opening bid. Now the auction will move clockwise to this very good girl. And this very good girl looks at her hand and says, I would like to compete as the opponent in this auction and meets the requirements to make a simple overcall. So in the second bidding seat, the opponent becomes the overcaller when, they, when she meets the requirements. Now the auction continues and we move from second seat clockwise to third seat to this other very good boy. And this very good boy is the responder to the opener, partner to the opener. Responder will attempt to respond as he usually does, trying to ignore the simple overcall if possible. The auction then moves from responder's third seat to the fourth seat, the final player at the table. This is the advancer if across the table partner was the overcaller, okay? Advancer does not always have something to bid. Advancer, by the time we get to your fourth seat, there isn't always something for you to do. Now, this was a scenario where opener started the auction in first seat, and then it moved clockwise to the first opponent over here who made a simple overcall. But that's not the only way that overcalls could work. It is possible that once this very good boy makes an opening bid and the auction moves clockwise to second seat, it's possible that this person does not have a simple overcall and would pass. Therefore, they're not an overcaller. If they pass, they're not an overcaller. They're just an opponent who didn't bid. The responder in this third seat might still bid, but then the auction, when it moves over here to the fourth player, because partner passed and did not overcall, this fourth player, the other opponent, could still make an overcall bid, could still become the overcaller. So let's talk about some takeaways before we look at some hands. Most simple overcalls take place in second seat, right after the opening bid, most of the time. 
But sometimes a simple overcall might happen in fourth seed instead. If the opener bids and then the next player, that first opponent who has a chance to bid, if that person passes, then their partner across the table could still make a simple overcall for the partnership. Now, overcallers, you need a five card or longer suit, could be major, could be minor, should have at least one high honor card, an ace or a king, because you are telling your own partner, look, it's not likely we're going to get the contract, but if we have to play defense uh, against the opener and the responder, then at least lead me my suit. I'm telling you, I have a winner or two in this suit. This is our best option for taking winning tricks as far as I can see in my hand. Overcallers always make their bids as cheaply as possible. Overcalls are never a jump in the auction. A simple overcall is always when you bid your comp competition suit, your overcall suit, at the very next place you can bid your suit. And it should always be on the one level whenever possible. If you bid your overcall suit on the one level, you need eight to 16 high card points. If, if your overcall has to be made on the two level, it's because you could not bid your suit any longer on the one level. There was no more room for your suit on the one level. And then you would need 10 to 16 high card points to go with your five card suit in order to make an overcall on the two level. Now, after there's an opening bid and then the second bidder makes an overcall, the responder tries to bid as usual. Specifically, if your partner across the table opened a major suit, then you add distribution and you try to raise in your partner's major suit. You try and find that major suit fit and decide how high to bid. But if a responder wants to change to a new major suit on the one level, the way that you've learned already to do, but the opponents have made a simple overcall already, you have to have a five card or longer major suit responder, not four. You can still have six high card points to change to a new major suit on the one level, but now you need a five card or longer suit, not a four card suit. So the responder might bid in third seat here. The fourth seat, the final player, is the advancer if partner across the table in second seat made an overcall. Advancers, honestly, you don't usually have a lot to say. You bid only when you have a fit with your partner's overcall suit most of the time, pretty much most of the time. And that's even going to be true when we talk about this some more in our competitive bidding series. Advancers don't often have much left to talk about. If you do have a fit with your partner's overcall suit, you add distribution, go ahead and raise to the two level in partner suit if it's still available. And you would do that with six to nine minimum advancing points, just like a responder would, but not higher than the two level if you have six to nine points. If you don't have a fit with your partner's overcall suit, you are passing. So let's see if we can look at some hands from your packet. We'll try and put all of this together. Ready? The first hand I want to look at is one of your demonstration hands, hand A in your packet. Now, I'm telling you here that East is the dealer, and I've even given you your high card points to make life easier. All right? East you have 12 to 20 high card points and a five card or longer major. This is a standard one level opening suit bid. So East, you're going to open one heart. Now, the auction moves clockwise to South. You are the opponent South and you'd like to compete. The first choice for an opponent is a simple overcall. So let's see if you meet that requirement to try and come into the auction. South, you would need a five card or longer suit with at least one high honor. And that suit could be a major suit or a minor suit. Now, I see that you have five or more spade cards. And it, in fact, it has four honor cards. You have the ace and the king, both high honors. And then you even have the jack and the ten. So you have a very strong suit, South, with which to make a simple overcall. Now, if you look at a bidding ladder, 
East opening one heart means that you can still bid your spade suit south as a simple overcall on the one level. And therefore, you need eight to 16 high card points and you have 12. So you absolutely meet the requirements to make a one level simple overcall. One spade south. West is the responder. Now, you're going to have to try and keep all these positions straight. West is the responder. West. Your partner made an opening bid. So West, the first thing you look for is to see if you have a fit with your partner's opening heart suit. And you do. You have three or more cards and hearts. You now know there's an eight card fit. You add one distribution point for the spade doubleton West. And now your responding hand is between six to nine minimum responding points you raise a minimum amount to two hearts. West, you're showing your partner the fit and that you have specifically six to nine responding points. Now the auction keeps moving. We move clockwise to north. North, because your partner in South made a simple overcall, you are the advancer. You look for a fit with your partner's overcalling spade suit and you have that, yay. So you know there's an eight card fit I'm looking at your hand, North. I do not see any distribution. The problem for you, North, is that even though you have a spade fit, you have only three high card points. And that's not enough to help your partnership. You would need a minimum of six points to make an advancing bid, just like a responder would need at least six points to make a responding bid. With only three points... You cannot help and you should not mislead your own partner. If I were North, I would pass. But North, if it's ever possible for you to gain the lead during the play of the hand, remember that your partner overcalled spades. Lead spades to your partner whenever you can. That's the point of her telling you that she had an overcall in the spade suit. So the auction now comes back to East's opening hand. East. You now know there's a heart fit with responder. You look at your hand and you say, should I add distribution? Well, you would, but you don't add distribution for queen doubletons. That would be overvaluing that suit. But you do have 19 opening points. And West promised you six to nine minimum responding points. Even if West has only six points to go with your 19 points, you know right now you have 25 or more points. You have game and you have a heart fit. When we reach the second round of the auction, which is where we are now, the one who knows goes. East, you should bid four hearts. So now East is going to become declare in four hearts. South will be on opening lead and will likely lead the ace of spades, top of touching honors. That should at least give South a couple of spade tricks early. Okay. Let's go to a demonstration hand D in your packet. On this hand, East is our dealer again, says so up here. Here are your points. East has 12 to 20 high card points. That's a standard opening bit, uh, bidder. And you have a five card or longer major East, so you open one heart. South, we come to your opponent's hand. You look for a five card or longer suit for a simple overcall. Now I see that you have a five card spade suit. You need at least one high honor, the ace or the king. And I see that you have the king. In fact, you have the queen and you have the 10, nine. 10 is an honor card. The nine has the same value as the 10 since there's no gap between the 10 or the nine. So you have some nice cards in this spade suit. And if you look at your bidding ladder, you can still overcall in spades on the one level. So south, you need eight to 16 high card points for a simple overcall and you have 12. I would make a simple overcall in one spade. Now you got to keep all the players straight here because now the auction's moving again. We go to west. You are the responder to east's opening hand. You look to see if you have a fit with east's heart suit and you do. You have at least three card support. You look at your hand and I don't see any distribution to add, but you do have six to nine minimum responding points. Therefore, West, 
you should make a minimum responding raise in two hearts. The auction moves to the fourth player. North, you are the advancer because your partner in South made an overcall in spades. Now, you have three or more spade cards to go with South's overcall suit. You have a spade fit. You would add distribution if you had any, but I don't see any distribution points in North's advancing hand. And you are going to act just like a responder. You have six to nine total advancing points. And what I said earlier was that means you can raise your partner's overcall to the two level if the two level is still available. And in this case, North, it is. You can advance the auction to two spades, showing your partner a spade fit. Now this is a competitive auction. Everybody's trying to bid here. Now the auction returns to East's opening hand. Now East, I'm going to tell you that generally speaking, for you to move your heart suit up to the three level, you need 16 invitational or greater opening points. And even when you add one point for distribution, you do not end up East at 16 points. 16 to 18 points in an opener's hand is the invitational range. So even though you have now 14 points, that's not 16. I'm going to tell you, East, that today you are passing. When we get to our competitive bidding series, we are going to discuss more nuance here. There will be times when maybe East might not pass, even if East doesn't have those 16 points. Today, though, we're going to do our bare bones basics. You don't have the invitational 16 or greater points, East. You therefore should not be bidding on the invitational level. Pass East. The auction moves to South's overcall hand. You know there's a fit with North's advancer hand. You add one distribution point. You have 13 overcall points. At this point in the auction, overcallers act like openers. You would need the same 16 points to move to the invitational three level, and you don't have that South. So I'm going to tell you to pass. And then West, your responding hand still only has those six points. It didn't change. It didn't improve. Your opening partner in East didn't go anywhere. So you're not going anywhere. And now this auction ends. But take a look at who became declarer. On this hand, there was an opening and responding bid, and there was an overcalling and advancing bid. Now, because the advancer and the overcaller were in the higher ranking suit, spades, higher on the bidding ladder, it allowed overcaller and advancer to overtake opener and responder's heart suit and get away with the auction on the two level in spades. So South's overcall hand just became the declarer when we get to the play of the hand. Occasionally, the overcaller and the advancer do take away the contract from opener and responder. And this is one of those examples. Now I'm going to move deeper into your packet. I'm going to go to your actual practice hand number two. South is the dealer on that one. I'm giving you your point counts here. South has 12 to 20 high card points, has a five card or longer major with at least one. Um, I'm sorry, has a five card or longer major. Openers don't have to have any special kind of cards. They could just have any five cards openers in a major suit. This is a standard one level opening bid. South opens one spade. Now the auction moves clockwise to West, the first opponent who could consider getting into the auction. West, you look for a simple overcall. What would you need? Well, first you need a five card or longer suit with at least one high honor. Now you have that. It is a minor suit, diamonds, right? But that's okay because simple overcalls may be either major suits or minor suits. Remember, the actual main reason you're telling your partner that you have a suit as the opponent is so that your partner will lead that suit to you during the play of the hand. When you make a simple overcall, you will most likely not get the contract. You will end up on defense against the opener and the responder. So at least you're telling your own partner, hey, lead this suit. So West, 
you could bid your diamond suit, even though it's a minor suit, as an overclaw suit. But notice, you can no longer bid diamonds on the one level. You would have to bid diamonds on the two level, and therefore you need 10 to 16 high card points. You have 13. So you meet the requirements to make a two level simple overcall, and you are bidding your diamonds as cheaply as you can. All right, so there's our simple overcall by the opponent. Now the auction moves to North's responding hand. You look at your hand and think to yourself, well, my partner in South, the opener, opened a major suit. I would need three cards in the spade suit to have support, and I don't have that. Hmm. In fact, if you look at North's point count, North does not even have the six minimum responding points as a threshold to bid. So North, no matter how you cut it, you just don't have anything to say as responder. And that does happen. So without your six high card responding points, you're not bidding. Pass. The auction still continues. We go to East. Now East, your partner in West made an overcall bid. That makes you the advancer. East, the first thing you do is look at your hand and say, do I have a fit with my partner's five card or longer overcall suit? And while you have nine high card points East as the advancer, you do not have a diamond fit and you do not bid your own new suit advancers unless you had a five card suit and something like 12 opening like points. When you don't have a fit with your partner's overcall suit, you are going to pass advancers almost every time. So East, pass. Now the auction returns to South's opening hand, but South, you really don't have anything else to say. You could bid your opening suit again if it held six or more cards, but it doesn't have that. You have a very minimum opening point count anyway. You really don't have anything else to offer. So you're passing. And look what happened. In this case, the overcall did take the contract. It does happen occasionally. So now West becomes declarer in two diamonds. How's that going to go for West? Well, your deep finesse down here does say that you can make four diamonds. Yeah. It's going to take a little work, but it's possible. But at least you're only on the two level. All right. But you don't have a very long diamond trump suit, do you? You do have a nice set of hearts. You have some nice clubs, all right? But we'll see what happens. But now, West, you are the declarer with your overcalling suit. Let's continue. I'm going to look at hand five in your packet. And let's look at South's hand. South is declarer. I've given you the point counts. South, you do not have... 12 to 20 high card points, do you? That's not a standard opening bid. But before you just pass, you should look to see if you meet one of the alternate opening requirements. And usually the next thing you look for is whether or not you have 11 high card points and a six card suit. Now, I'm looking at your point count. You have 11, but you do not have a six card suit. So that's not going to be one of the alternate choices, even though that's usually the first thing you look for. The next thing you look for is something called the rule of 20. How does that work? Well, you look at your two longish suits and you add the card length of each of those suits together. That gets you to nine cards, doesn't it? In your two longest suits, add nine cards to your 11, nine plus 11. If that equals 20 or more, you meet the rule of 20. And you can do that in the dealer seat, first bidding seat. And if you meet the rule of 11, a rule of 20, excuse me, if you meet the rule of 20, you should make an opening bid. So what are you going to open here, South? Well, you use your usual opening priority rules. If you had a five card major, you would open one hard or one spade. You don't. You open your longest minor, one diamond. The auction moves to West. Now, West, you'd like to compete in this auction. First thing you look for is a five card or longer suit with at least one high honor. And I see that you have a five card or longer heart suit. You have the ace. You even have the ace, queen, ten. Nice. Now, you can still bid hearts, West, on the one level. So therefore, you need eight to 16 high card points. You have 16. Now, even though you are at the upper point limit, 
You do not jump. You're going to make a simple overcall in hearts at the one level. That would be true even if you had more than five hearts and more and 16 points. Simple overcalls are always made as cheaply as possible. You always bid your simple overcall at the very next place you can bid your suit. Since it's on the one level, you need eight to 16 high card points anywhere in there. Now, the auction continues to north. Let's get our right caps on here. North, you're the responder. You have to remember who you are. You're the responder to your partner's opening hand. You look at your hand and you have only four high card points. North, sorry, that's just not enough to make a responding bid. You would need six points. So North, you're going to pass. Responder doesn't always have six points. The auction moves again clockwise to East. Now East, you're the advancer because your own partner made an overcall bid. First thing you look for is a fit with your partner's overcall suit. You do have three card heart support East. Now, I don't see any distribution in your hand, East. You do not add anything for a jack double 10. So, East, you're going to act like a responder. You have six to nine minimum advancing points. You can afford to raise to the two level, the minimum amount. So, you should raise to two hearts, East. South, we come back to you. You were the opener on this hand, right? But, you know, you started with a light opening. You started with the rule of 20. Your hand is not worth any more. You started light to begin with. You should just pass, especially since your partner helped you not at all. Then the auction still continues to west. West, you were the overcaller, right? You now know there's a heart fit with your advancing partner. You get to add three points for a void. You are missing the entire club suit. You now have 19 overcall points and just like an opener at this point in the auction. Logic will help you here. Math. Sorry, I said that word. I'm sorry. But think about it. If you have 19 points and your advancing partner promised you six to nine points, even if advancer has six points, you have 25 points. You have a game. You have a heart fit. The one who knows goes. You should bid four hearts. And occasionally, it is the overcaller and the advancer who have pretty much all the points. Occasionally. Especially when you think about it this way. When South opened, South needed to use the rule of 20 because she didn't even have 12 points. So it's not a stretch to consider that it is the overcaller and advancer who might have most of the points. They just weren't the dealer and the, right, the opener and the responder. But they found their way to their rightful contract and their rightful game contract. West will play this in four hearts. Now, South opened one diamond. North, even though your responding hand couldn't bid, if you ever get a chance to make a lead during the play of the hand, at least try and remember to lead diamonds to your partner. You should always be thinking, what is my partner bid? I will lead that suit. Let's look at another one. Here's hand six. South has 12 to 20 high card points. This is a standard opening hand. But South has two five card majors. When the opener is holding five five in the major suits, the opener should always start with the higher ranking suit on the bidding ladder, spades. South should absolutely open one spade. It would not matter if you liked the hearts better. Always open one spade openers when you have five, five in the majors. Now the auction moves to West. West is hoping to compete as the opponent looks for a five card suit for a simple overcall. West has a five card heart suit. It even has at least one high honor. In fact, it has the King Queen Jack. So West wants to bid hearts as a simple overcall, but West can no longer bid hearts on the one level, right? West would have to bid hearts on the two level, and therefore West needs 10 to 16 high card points. And West does have 10 to 16 high card points. So you meet the requirement, West. You should overcall two hearts. We move the auction to North. North, you're the responder. You look for three card support for your partner's spade suit. You have it. Yay. 
you add one distribution point, but that only gets you to four responding points. You do not have the six minimum points to make a responding bid north. You're going to pass. East, we move to you. You are the advancer because your partner in West made a two heart simple overcall. You look for a fit. Well, you don't have a fit in hearts. And if you don't have a fit, you don't have a bid, advancer, pass. Now the auction moves back to south. South, should you show your second longish suit, hearts now? I wouldn't. I would not at all. Look, west, the opponent made an overcall in hearts. You don't have a fit with your own partner in hearts. You have the same suit as west. We never bid the opponent's suit and mean it. How about you don't bid hearts? And since you don't have any extra length, you would need six or more spade cards to bid spades again. Since you don't have extra length in spades, how about you just pass, South? Because maybe the fact that you have five heart cards will be enough to make life difficult for East-West in hearts. And in fact, if you look over here, it's possible that West might make two hearts, but maybe he'll make a mistake and won't. That will help you, South. You just don't have anything else to bid in your opening hand, so you pass. And the overcaller takes the contract in two hearts. One last hand. I want to look at hand nine, because this is where we had responder doing something new. I'd like to explain why responder acts a certain way based on new information. Let's start with South. South is our dealer. I've given you all the high card points. South has a standard 12 to 20 opening hand, right? South does not have a five card major and will open one diamond, longest minor suit. And we move to West. West is the opponent and wants to compete in the auction, looks for a simple overcall. West has a five card or longer heart suit. That heart suit has at least one high honor in it. And West, you can still make a simple overcall on the one level. You need 8 to 16 high card points to do so. You have 12. West makes a simple overcall in one heart. Now, the auction moves to responder in north. You usually have the job of searching for a major suit fit when your own partner, the opener, starts in a minor suit, right? And usually that's a straightforward task. You need six or more high card points, four or more cards in a major suit. but it's a straightforward task when there has been no overcall bid. We now have a slight problem. Once West makes a simple overcall, North's responding hand, you need more value in your hand to change the auction from your partner's minor suit to a new major suit. Why do you need this new value? When responder changes to a new major suit or any new suit, any new suit at all, the opener is forced to bid again. Do you remember the phrase new suit by responder is forcing for opener? Here's the reason why opener is forced to bid when a responder changes to any new suit. When responder does change to a new suit, responder has no ability to show an entire point range. Responder can only show the floor, the base of high card points, the very bottom of a range of points when changing to a new suit. There is no way in bridge for a responder when changing to a new suit to say, I have X number of points all the way up to Y number of points. No, when a responder changes to a new suit, all responder can show is I have X number of points to something higher, maybe. There is no way for a responder to completely show how many points are sitting in that responding hand. And therefore, opener, you have to bid again because you have to keep the auction alive for it to go all the way back to responder. If responder were sitting on 20 responding points, She'd like to be able to tell you that. And there's no way she can tell you right now. So therefore, 
If responder changes to a new suit after an overcall, we're going to have to make this process a little easier for the partnership because now we have a competition bid in West's opponent hand. Since South is going to be forced to bid again, North, you should have extra length in your new major suit when you change after an overcall to make it a little easier for the partnership to find a fit and to not go back and forth trying to figure out where to land, especially because opener is forced to bid again. So how about we give opener some help and the way we do that after an overcall by the opponent is that North, you need five or more cards in your new major suit. You're still searching for a major suit fit, but now you're making it a little easier for opener. So you need five or more cards North in your responding hand after an overcall to change the auction, even on the one level. You can still have your six or more high card points, but you need five or more cards. Now the good news North is you have at least five cards and spades, right? You have at least six high card points. You can change to a new major suit on the one level. What would you do if you did not have five cards? Well, we have some more to talk about, don't we, in our responder and open a rebids lessons. There will be a potential remedy if North only had four cards in that spade suit. But North has five and North changes now, promising at least five cards in spades and six or more points. There's no upper limit she can show. East, you are the advancer to your partner's overcalling heart suit. You don't have a heart fit east. As advancer, you're going to pass. And now south, you need to assume that north was on the ball, that north in fact has five spade cards. Therefore, you south only need three spade cards to know you have a fit. The reason this works so well is that quite often when one partner does have five cards in a suit, often the, their partner will have three cards in a suit, in that same suit. Not always, but it does happen. It happens a reasonable amount of time. That's one of the reasons why we're forcing responder to have five or more cards. So South, you only need three cards to know you have a spade fit and you have three spade cards. You get to add one distribution point. Your opening hand is now 15 minimum opening points. You're going to show the fit with North's new major spade suit, but at a minimum level, two spades to show your opening 12 to 15 points. West, we come back to you as the overcaller. You already made your overcall bid. East didn't help you. You don't have anything else to say. You pass. North, we now come back to you. You were the responder on this hand, but now you know there's a spade fit. You add one distribution point for the diamond doubleton. Your nine high card points now become 10 invitational responding points. With 10 to 12 invitational points, you should be inviting three spades. East is passing again. And now we come back to South's opening hand. You have 15 total points as an opener. North, your responder just showed you 10 to 12 points. You know you have 25 points and you know you have a spade fit. The one who knows goes. So this is an example of responder bidding a brand new major correctly after an overcall and still taking the contract away from the overcaller. Okay, so there's still a lot more information. We're still going to have to do a lot more practice. Take another look at the examples in your packet and go over them again. I, I'm suggesting that you do them on paper rather than on the actual blank page. You want to give yourself a couple of times to go over these, these hands. All right. If you have questions, you're going to send them to me and I'll see you in class. Bye now.